Finish him. Overkill. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dates and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Fort Triumph. It's basically a fantasy-like XCOM. It's relatively amazing. I'm impressed by it. So, uh, we could continue our last game where I died. Let's see what happens then. I think it's just gonna boot me back to the main menu. Oh, ready for battle? No. Let's leave. I died in my last battle with the random monsters. There was nine of them, and there's only three of us. I've got a uh, Barbarian here, a Paladin, and an Archer. I did have a Mage as well, but he he ended up dropping dead. Or she, rather. So, we went to this tavern down here. We basically got three different quests. One was to open this breach, or explore the breach that um, these undead were looking for. We got a quest to kill some undead, we got a quest to kill some goblins. So, goblins seem relatively easy to take care of. I've been heading up here towards their camp, but it looks like they're relatively well fortified. You can see we've got 11 archers, 8 warriors, 3 shamans, and an ogre. So I'll probably end up uh, biting balls at that as well. You can see I've taken over some bridges and some things like that. Um, these will increase your mana every turn, which I'm not quite sure. I assume you can cast spells. It's somewhat like XCOM meets Age of Wonders, which I think is really, really neat. Um, let's go ahead and move now and finish the turn. They're spawning some more goblins. That's never good. And then we've got yet another faction appearing on the top there. The undead also bonking around just there. And that is our party. You can tell because of the faction relation. We're, we're in pretty good, uh, pretty good with those guys. So I don't know what these Stormhands Academy fellows are. I suppose we should go say hello. Hello! You seem like a formidable apprentice. Consider us visiting our academy if you wish to learn some more. Where's your academy? Friend? We're completely neutral at the moment. I'm not gonna fight him. That's not nice. And... Looks like another goblin encampment up here. A wise lanky hermit berates you with tales of his exploits, sitting there sipping on delicious tea and learning of his adventures. The party feels sharper than ever and ready to battle. Plus 10 accuracy for next battle. That's a pretty nice buff, especially for my archers and stuff. Means you can hit stuff from a long way off. So we've got the academy up here. What is all this? What's all this then? Sheep loiter aimlessly near what is clearly a troll's house. A crude sign hangs on what seems like a door. Nut here. You wonder if they intentionally write pronunciations. Intentionally write pronunciations? Nut here? You want me to nut here? Ugh! Why, why not? <laughs> the guild has an interest in this particular troll who supposedly is a gullible, human-loving shaman. Turning him into an ally will make a valuable asset. You consider waiting for him to return, but a small tribe of goblins lurks nearby looking at you. They sharpen their knives greedily. Wait for the troll and risk their ire? Yes, I will. No problem. You think I'm scared of some fucking goblins? Not even, son! Depending on how many there are. Which they they seem to travel in, in quite large groups, as goblins are wont to do. But I'm sure we can handle it. No problem. And we need to exhibit some of this combat. This here delicious combat, tell you what! So the goblins are all posted up over here. Looks like we've got an archer, so I want to stay clear of that. Um. So I'm going to put my Barbarian behind this tree. Q and E to rotate. Similar to XCOM, you've got your uh, full protection there with the big shield. And then with the wooden shield. Oh yeah, it's a steel shield versus a wooden shield. So you don't want to stay behind the wooden barrel because it gives you a wooden shield, which is only about 50% protection. We'll hide behind the tree for now. And that's only one action point. So we can also take some cover, which we'll need to do because we just activated an ogre, a shaman. Oh boy, it's going to get ugly. Of this I am sure. But that's alright. We're going to do big things. Big, big things. Hmm. I should consider running up a bit more. I do have an action potion. So then I could get an additional action point. Hmm, what is the correct answer? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I guess I'll save this for later. No, these guys are going to block me so hard. I'm going to drink my action potion. Do it. Do it. Do it to it. Make it happen. 
All right, so I could hide behind this tree. Obviously, that goblin's gonna run right out and get me, though. Hmm. Two action points to move all the way over there. Hmm. One to move over here. All right. I'll do it on the next turn. If they want to come behind this house, then they'll be cornered. There shall be no escape! Maha! Alright, so Paladin... Hmm, hide behind the wooden barrel? That might be a good option. I know I could put this uh, archer on Overwatch. That would probably be a good idea. So we'll do just that. One action point to go over there. Overwatch. Sweet. So that is extremely XCOM-like. <laughs> um, I'm gonna hide behind this tree with my pally and put him in cover. And we'll see what the enemy does. It's hard to know. I'm just predicting all kinds of bad stuff. You missed. Ha ha. You can't knock over trees and stuff onto your enemies. Oh, my archer missed as well. I was hoping there warrior that was closer would move first, but that was not the case. Now the ogre's trying to run up on my archer. Not good. A little bit of damage on the pally. Hmm. Oh! He did make it to my archer. And now my archer has somebody on top of him, so he can't use his bow. Which is really unfortunate. We're gonna have to peel some dudes off. Um... I thought I had an ability for this guy. Yeah. So... Dash and Slash basically serves as an action potion. You get to move in extra time before performing the action. So I'm going to cast this now. Can't use it every turn, obviously. But it should serve well enough to get me up near the Shaman. And uh, we can take care of business over here. He's got seven hit points. Yeah, we'll be able to kill him. One shot, one kill. Get rid of all these Shamans in the back so we're not taking any uh, cheap damage. And we've... Alerted that warrior. I forgot that he was over there, but that's all right. I'll just do what to do Black now you did Hey for you now fucker. Oh, I also got a level up sweet So new ability frightened frightened nearby enemies causing them to run away in a panic cancels reaction attacks of frightened enemies Bloodlust savage becomes frenzied doubling the damage inflicted by and to her does not cost AP when there are no activated enemies. Does not cost AP to deactivate. Bloodlust seems really cool, but if your characters die, they're gone forever. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use Frighten. Hopefully we can avoid some reaction abilities and stuff like that. We will get rid of this warrior as well. I think that is a good thing. And I'll also be able to hide behind this barrel. So go for it, Pally. Make it happen, Pally. Yeah, another one bites dust. Went, went, went. Oh, and I also got a little heal on the pally because uh, one of my skills is like a healing aura, which is super nice. Hmm. Now, we've got the big ogre to worry about. He's not going to die from one hit, and I think he's going to do a bunch of damage to this pally. So, let's go over here. And I'll put the archer on overwatch because I think this guy's going to try and take a shot at me. Well, he's a warrior and he's way over there. Ah, uh, who knows? Who knows? Just put him on overwatch anyways. Just to be safe. And we'll see what happens. I really want that uh, shaman that they were talking about. That would be a super nice addition to my team since we're missing out on the mage now. Oh yeah! Overwatch! You did! You did as fuck! Oh, six damage. That sucks. But we're still alive, so that's a thing. Taking a little shot at my paladin from over there. That's fine. They've got quite a few ranged characters up there. Oh, attack of opportunity? I just wiped that dude out. Nice. So, what to do now? Need to get my barbarian up here. My savage, as it were. Speed potion speeds up the savage. Could we reach over there then? Would that would that be a thing? Alright, let's try it. Speed potion! Yeah, look at that. All the way. All the way, baby! Doo -doo 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 -doo. You dead. You dead as fuck. No more fun and games for you! It's over for you! Alright, let's see what the uh, paladin can do. Six to seven damage, and then the archer 
could also do four to six damage. So let's see what the archer does first. Five damage. That's not bad. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill, but I don't think it's going to be able to kill me. Oh, especially not with my health potion. Haha, -ha, forgot I had the health potion. <laughs> Obviously, I collected some potions in the tutorial, and now I've used them all. Um, so yeah, we've got a couple of abilities for the paladin. Uh, improving accuracy of allies near the paladin. Healing surrounding allies when an enemy is killed. So hopefully we kill him. Yeah! The harder they fall, bitch! So they've got one archer left. That's gonna be fine. Take the shot on my fucking savage. Don't worry about that. I do find it a little awkward. Like, it's hard to get in between little spaces like this. Um, so you're gonna be rotating the camera quite a bit. But it ain't too bad. Flat. And there's a battle. A battle won! Triumph! Huzzah! And, yep. Everybody's pretty good, pretty leveled up there. Our Archer's about near another level, but I guess we'll have to wait just a little longer. Archer got in a, a choice between Fire Arrow and Ice Arrow. I ended up taking the Fire Arrow because our mage uh, ate, ate shit. So, I need some firepower, you know what I'm saying? The troll arrives near the end of your battle, having witnessed it. Take you for got rid of goblins, he says. They always knock door, ask if done not to go grow gum. God is... God of human sacrifice tells them have no human. Always at night, always wake sleep. He grimaces. All I have is magic, now you have. Well, I was hoping he'd join us, but I guess a little bit of magic ain't too bad. I'll take that any day of the week. And then we've got the uh, Stormhands Academy here, which I guess, I guess I should visit. Why not? Hello, are you here to enlist in our academic potion brewing course? We currently don't take on new students, but you're welcome to leave your name and pigeon number and we'll contact you if a slot opens up. Okay, great. You've been absolutely no help. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, so how about some more moves? Can we make some more moves? I guess we're out of moves. Alright, end the turn. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought it should have just ended it automatically. Oh no, they took the totem back. So, uh, I'm losing out on some magic. Which is not good. I gotta go reconquer that totem. And this guy's taking totems from me too! I thought we were allies, bro! What's up with that? Alright. You're gonna get fucking punished. Punish him. Ready for battle. Do it. You got a, you got a hard lesson to learn today, kid. I'll tell you what. So... I really like this game. It's um, still relatively early days for it, but super, super nice as far as I can tell. So far, I'm liking it a lot. We can kick over some trees, kick some boxes and barrels at the enemies, and uh, either kill them outright or stun them, which is super nice, obviously. And um, yeah, I want to exhibit that just a little bit, but I need to see where where the archers are. I know they had a shaman and an archer somewhere around here. So I hate to just run up and try and take some shots and hope that it works. There they are. Alright, so I'm gonna send the savage over that way. These guys gotta go down. You gotta go down. I'm sorry. This is what happens. See what happens? Level up. Yes, that's what I want. Smoke Bomb. Blinds targets in an area, blinds allies and enemies alike, having their chances to hit. Okay. Become a tree. Using powerful arguments, the ranger convinces everyone that she is a tree. <laughs> There's also some really nice humor in this game. I like it a lot. Ends the turn if activated where, when there are activated enemies. Does not cost AP to deactivate. Cannot use while burning. So, basically, I guess you're avoiding attacks with that. We'll try it out. We'll try it out, that's for sure, at least. And I'll bring my Savage over here. We can take care of some of those ranged characters. Put them on guard, just so we're not taking too much damage. And... Hmm. Oh, that was the Savage. Yeah, the Paladin's gonna come up here and block, block this dude in the face. I think that's what we want to do. Or we could play it safe. Could play it a little safer. I think that's probably the uh, the way to go. I 
can't quite reach behind this building without wasting an extra action point. So that makes me slightly sad. But uh, I'll put him here. Right here's where you go. Alright, monsters. Show me what you got. Oh god, they move so much further. I always underestimate their movement speed. Oh, coming for my pally now. Please leave him alone. Alright, they all missed it looks like. Thank goodness for cover. Excellent job. Alright, so Savage. Savage, why don't you uh, get up here? We can also use Frighten. But it uses all of my AP. Hmm. I'm a dash and slash. Dash him, slash him! That's right. Run up here. Yeah. Now I'm in your face, bitch! I could have also kicked the tree on top of him. That would have been a, a nice thing to demonstrate. But then the tree obviously turns from full cover into half cover. So... Maybe not the best the best thing I could do. It's acceptable. It's acceptable. Let's see if this archer can kill the uh the gabo. Hmm, he's gonna have cover from that tree. Yes, this is difficult, is it not? Alright. Drop back a little bit. Kinda try and flank him. And uh we could also try and set him on fire. That might be cool, but it only does two damage. I have, like, no chance to hit him anyways. Just try it. Just try it. Alright, you know what's gonna work? Here comes that nice kick I was talking about. Blech. <laughs> Love it! Destructible environments? Hell yeah, dude! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my pally's getting casted on now. That's never good. And... Yeah. Down to half health now. That sucks. But my barbarian's up here, so I ain't too worried. Let's get up on this shaman. Oh, there's another warrior hiding up there. That's alright. Too late for you! Your friends are dead! You should run! You should run and hide! Alright, let's see. Only one action point to get up here? Alright, do it. Do it to it! Make it happen! And there's a little health recovery. How nice! Alright, so now I can take my ranger up here, put him on overwatch for when that warrior pops out. And that should end the battle, I think. Hey, buddy! Yeah! Oh, it didn't quite kill him. He's stronger than he looks! I'll tell you that! Finish him! Overkill! <laughs> Hooray! Yet another triumph! And our paladin's really close to leveling as well. But those goblins shouldn't uh, shouldn't uh, mess with my tower. I had one tower. That's all I wanted. Alright, next turn. I guess you gotta stretch all the way out. Go a little bit beyond where you're supposed to go. And then it's like, alright, cool. Now you can go to the next turn without hitting the end turn button. But as I said, it is a relatively early build. For what is offered here, I'm fucking super impressed. I like it a lot because, you know, I love strategy games like XCOM, but you know what I love more than that? Wizards and shit. <laughs> Source of mystical power, this totem will grant you magic over time, plus one magic per day. That's right, I get it back. Oh, it's a goblin totem. It makes them mad when I when I play with it. <laughs> you guys don't like that, do you? There's so many fucking goblins there. I'm gonna have to level up quite a bit more before I'm able to take on all of those goblins. And I want to stay away from these spiders as well, because they are nasty. I tried to fight them, and I died. Oh my god, you guys! How could you? Taking their totem back every single time? Well, at least it's a good way to level up, I suppose. Start of a new week, new items appear, monsters grow in strength. No! <laughs> Why would you do this? They've got seven archers and one warrior. Oh man. That ain't no good. That ain't no good! And yeah, the, the mobs are getting bigger. So, that's troubling. We'll just keep battling goblins. Think I give a shit? 
I'll do it all day, kid. I'm not scared of archers. I mean, archers are pretty scary compared to the warrior classes. But if you can get a warrior class up on top of them, which the savage is really good at doing, then uh, you'll be in good shape. You don't have to worry none too much. Alright. Dash and slash. Make it happen. Alrighty. We good? We happy? We happy. And down you go. Stupid. Why you try to take my totem back, stupid? That ain't for you. That's for me. Alright. I'll sit on top of this guy. He has to move, basically, in order to uh, fire a shot. So maybe I just bring my archer up a little bit, put him on overwatch. And then when that guy moves, I'll, I'll hopefully just blop him in the face. Oh, attack of opportunity. That'll work as well. Wonderful! And it seems there are no activated enemies at the moment, so... Let's send the savage... Hmm... Over this way. This way, savage! No enemies activated there. Hmm... I guess Paladin can go with. I'm coming with! Yeah, that'll do just fine. Might as well move him as a unit, right? I don't want to fuck it up too bad. Um, not going to be able to overwatch from here, but that's okay. There are no enemies activated right now. So just uh, scoot him up. Scoot him up a little bit at a time. Oh, the paladin leveled. That's what it's trying to tell me. Duh! So we've got blinding light. Summons holy light to blind an enemy, crippling its accuracy accuracy and dealing symbolic damage cannot miss does not require sight to the target rally gives plus one boost to all stats the effect lasts for two turns oh those are both really really nice i don't know what nearby allies quantifies necessarily so i'm going to go for the blinding light just so we can cripple if we come across any big ogres or something like that we can easily cripple them that seems the right choice in my opinion. So Savage, a little bit more. Oh boy. We chose the wrong way to go. Alright, so I'm gonna hide my Savage away over here. Very good. Wonderful. And Paladin. You can brace yourself. Brace yourself for what comes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get an attack of opportunity from all the way over here, but might as well try it. That is a lot of archers, I tell you that. What was it, 7 or 11? It was a shit ton. That's what I remember. Alright. So hopefully they're not all overwatching over there. Or it could be pretty bad if somebody tries to move. Just absolute fire everywhere terribleness. Alright, spotted a warrior. So let's move this archer up. I'm gonna take that shot. Take the shot! Oh, we can't. We can't quite yet. So, overwatch will do just fine. I don't know if I can hit anything on overwatch from here. Hey, there you go. Wonderful! You've done quite a good job today. There's two archers. One is on overwatch. Oh, he's taking the shot. He missed. They probably are trying to flank me. Which I'm a little bit worried about. I'm just gonna take the swing. Take a swing here. Oh, he missed. Thank goodness. So, I don't think that guy is on Overwatch anymore. So, I'm gonna move the Savage up. We got enough for another dash and slash. Get in there. You can do it. You can do it! You're the champion! Oh, activated a couple more. Hi! Hi, guys! I'm over here. We need to move up ASAP. The Savage is gonna be fucked. Alright, so let's get Archer over here. I could try and take a shot. 
Let's see, 77% chance to hit? That ain't bad. I'll try it. Yeah! You got bitch, bitch! So they've got, what, four guys left? Yeah, Savage is gonna take some damage from this. Gonna have to retreat her ASAP. Good, a little miss. That's something at least. Don't flank me. Don't flank me, bro! Alright. We've got to get this Savage to cover. Just uh, hang out for a little while. Paladin and Archer will take care of things. Alright, Pally. Come on up, Pally. Hmm. It's getting really difficult. But alright. We'll put him here. I don't want to give up that defense bonus. It's really important for not having your characters just die. Um, and there's like no room to fit my archer. Hmm. Looks like one of them's just standing out in the open. Alright, try it. 69%, 71%, obviously 71. I see your stupid little head, and now you're dead. Another battle, another victory. A lot of this game seems to be leveling up your characters so they can take on bigger and bigger threats. Like those spiders, just scare the shit out of me. They'll poison you, deal damage every turn, and if you don't have quite a big health pool, then it's gonna be over for you. Over for you! Dash and slash again. Go for it. Run up in his shit! Take his life! Nipple wife! What? <laughs> Here's another one down. I think these are all the ones that there were, right? Maybe? Alright, Archer, get right here. Take the fucking shot on that dude. 90%. No way! I missed with a 90% chance. That's amazing. Alright, let's blind this dude at least. Aha! Paladin say you no shoot! He's running all the way up here? What is that? <laughs> and he missed from that far away. Okay then! How's this? Headshot! <laughs> Multi-kill! All right, and Savage is almost leveled up again. So that's about how the game goes. Um, I could keep going. I kind of am tempted to because it's just one of those games that gives you that one more turn feeling. You're like, oh, I've got to do this. Let's just do this really quick. And um, it feels really nice once you do this. Of course, if your enemies end up dying or your, your characters end up dying, it, it feels real bad because as far as I am aware, um, there's not a way to recruit more characters, maybe at the tavern or something like that, but I haven't come across it quite yet, so I find it just the slightest bit frustrating, although when you die in battle, like I died to these monsters, and uh, I just had to restart the game and it let me continue on before I fought the monsters. So that's uh, an option if, if you were to kind of take it and somewhat cheese the game, but in my opinion, it's it's what you gotta do sometimes. Anyways, nice big map to explore, plenty of quests to complete, lots of characters to level up, and they are all unique, which I really, really like. In the XCOM, it's like, yeah, he has a different kind of gun. Isn't that cool? But here, it's like, yeah, different spells and kind of shit like that. That's amazing! 10 out of 10. I can't say that. Perfect game, definitely not. <laughs> not, not in this early alpha. Uh, I did point out a few problems, you know, with the movement and stuff like that, but overall the game is really, really satisfying. I'm excited to see how it develops. Anyways, friends, I've gushed quite enough. This has been Fort Triumph. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and to subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. Those goblins are back, stealing my fucking totem again. Terrible! <laughs> Uh, we've also got links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon, any of those that you should like to follow me on, support me on, would be super, super appreciated. That would be, like, most awesome of you. Most awesome dudes, bro, Bill and Ted. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching, and until then, bye-bye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends. 